Here we go. Hey, everybody. It's February 20th, and you're here at the Chaos Community Weekly Call, Weekly Hangout, Weekly Sync. I've seen all three of those things. We should probably make it all just one thing. It's kind of confusing, but that's all right. I hope everybody's having a really good day. Uh, I'm trying to share. Oh, my goodness. Z Zoom is blocking me from sharing. Hold on. I don't know why. I can share. Okay. That would be excellent. Why would it do that? I did and I did update. Oh, okay. Thank you, Sean. Wrong. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, yeah. So if you have not added your name to the agenda, feel free to do that. And tell us if you're a dog or cat person, or maybe you're both, or maybe you're neither. All of those options are completely valid. I'm just curious because I'm a both. All right. I see a few people putting their name in. Awesome. Okay. Um, so the first thing on the agenda, I just wanted to draw everyone's attention to the blog post in case you have not seen it yet and you're not sure what chaos goals are for 2024. Here you go. Here's a whole blog post about it and a lovely graphic too, which will go on the website, but has not yet, but will. Um, this is uh, just kind of an overview of what the board had decided our goals are. So um, I think it's important that everybody sees this and uh, understands kind of where we're going or what we plan to do. If there's anything in that that speaks to you personally and you want to get involved, definitely um, reach out and, and just make that known. Uh, you can drop it in the general channel, drop it in wherever, and we'll, we can point you to the right place. So I'm not sure if anybody has questions on it. I mean, obviously, if you haven't seen it yet, you uh, want to take a minute to read that, which you can do now or you can do later. But does anybody have questions that has read it or comments, anything, any discussion? Why is the logo rotated? I probably should have caught that before because I know oh. that she let us review it. But the logo is like. It. it is rotated. Okay. Well, we can fix that. I'm not sure. I know how. I don't, I don't know if I have. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah we certainly looked at it enough. should be on the side. <laughs> The blue should be at the top. Yep. Yeah. How funny. And it, and it doesn't matter because it's not tied to the things like touching it. Right. Yeah. No. It can't I, I think it's because the, the, the first and the sixth point are also sharing the same part. So that if you use, if you do that in the, with the blue one, so it's like kind of upward mm -hmm. maybe. So yeah. you need to put the, the arrows or the lines need to be different way, I don't know. I think Nicole could fix it pretty easily, I think. Yeah, yeah it shouldn't yeah. be hard to fix. It's just in Canva, but it should be really easy. Okay. Thanks for <laughs> catching that, Don. I don't know how many times we looked at this. Yeah, I looked at this like uh -oh. five times before Garrett, Garrett just posted in. Garrett just posted in the chat. But oh. Okay. It looks like there was a reason for it. Yeah, that might be kind of to Santi's point as well. Like right. it may not line up <laughs> if it's rotated. So yeah. I mean, do yeah. we care? Is it okay? No, How? probably. I don't think we care. I but don't I was, really I was care scared. that much. No. Okay. The we don't have any branding police to go after us. Yeah. Right. And and <laughs> honestly, Don, you're the first person to even notice it. So I don't think anybody even noticed. <laughs> well, do you know why I noticed it? Because I made so many pairs of those flipping earrings. Now I've got my <laughs> Open UK one. These are my Open UK earrings which also has a similar logo with different colors. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So I, I know exactly which parts of the logo go on which side. <laughs> I love my chaos earrings. They're my favorite. <laughs> I love them. Awesome. I should have worn them today. I have my chaos shirt on, but not my, awesome. hoodie. Not my earrings. I should have. What kind of community manager am I? Not a good one, apparently. I'm not representing. Um, okay, so the next one is, I wasn't sure if Sally was on the call. Well, can, I, can I make a comment? So just in terms of like, we always, there's the grow community on there. I was curious how, Sean, I know you have your like auger meetings on Monday. How are those going? And Pretty I'm well. Curious, yeah, are they? Yeah, we're getting good attendance the last couple of times. Okay. We had a really great design discussion yesterday, pressing okay. forward on that with some guidance and process from Chaos Africa. Okay. Like how many people are in the meeting? I haven't gone to them. So we had seven yesterday. Okay. Is I, that... think it, 
I don't remember. I think it was like four or five the week before that. Okay. Do you feel that there's like a reason there's more people? Um, I think we just in a cadence, you know, post chaos con, we had just started the new cadence before chaos con. Okay. And so then you've also been a little more proactive around agendas and things too, which I think helps a lot. Okay. I yeah. Change sure. there, but yeah. What's that, Sean? I haven't changed anything, but other than the cadence being more regular. But I think you've been putting the agendas in the in the doc ahead of time. Haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. That does help actually a yeah. lot. Yeah, we were doing that. Yeah, okay. Um okay, and I guess with, with Santi and Georgon, like do you with Grimoire Lab, we don't do we is there not a regularly scheduled meeting? And it's really that number two there, the growing the chaos. I guess that's user community, but no, we we have that in the past, but uh, since Alberto left Vitergia, yeah. we we haven't done anything yet. I'm trying to to get back to these regular meetings, but well, okay. I haven't found haven't found time so okay. far. So okay, um, well, if but the idea is there. Okay, that's great, and I mean, I think if if there's a like if you're finding time and you think it would be helpful, I think, anyway, we're all here to help. And I know Elizabeth could easily set it up and all that kind of stuff. Okay, great. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, just let me know when, when you want to have it and when you want to start. No big. Oh, wait. Right, got to your point, Gary, they were poorly attended. Um. Yeah, I, I I don't know the answer to the to this, other than keep trying and like keep trying in new ways and keep doing the outreach and uh, maybe to Sean's point, like you know building it out after Chaos Con or to Don's point, like making sure they're really well structured. So I don't know what it might be. I think we can also like our community is a lot bigger now. We have a lot more developers, I think, in the in the Chaos community generally. So we can be a little better about bridging the gap because we have the chaos Africa dev meetings. So maybe we can plug into them or like cross promote or something like that. Um, yeah, I think, we, I think we have some, some options that we can help, you know, promote that. Okay. Just one more thing. All, right. Awesome. All right. Thanks. That was, and then I just, uh, I still need to find like my own time for the standard stuff. I just haven't really followed up. I think I'm going to need Kate's help or Nicole's help on that. You know, the ISO standard stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We Yeah. Aren't we waiting for someone from the LF that was going to help us with that right now? Yeah. I've had nice conversations in the past. I just think it, it needs to be kind of more formally mm -hmm. addressed. So I think, you know, involving Kate and Nicole would be helpful and or Nicole. There is something that I wanted to actually bring up in this that I was I was wondering about is um, somewhere in here uh, com under community growth, there's the talk of an ambassadors program. So I wasn't sure if we had um, like I have definitely have ideas about that. I know others do as well. Um, other community managers in chaos and and others. Um, is that something that we want to start now or maybe like later in the year? What do we think? What is it? Let's so see. what I think in what I envision it to be, and, it, and this could be wrong, <laughs> or is definitely up for debate, um, just giving folks the tools to advocate on our behalf. So besides just like the the um the slide deck that we have, giving them actual like here are swag you can you know hand out or like having more of a structure to folks who want to advocate on our behalf or help educate people about chaos in a more formal way. Yeah. Um, and a lot of open source projects have this, right? So the CNCF ambassadors program, Open UK has an ambassadors program. I know some of the distros have ambassadors program and it really, what it, what it does, I mean, what I think the benefit of it is, is it really kind of gives people permission to go talk about the project on, you know, on the project's behalf. 
and gives them the tools and resources to do it. Um, because otherwise people might not feel comfortable just, you know, going out and giving a talk about chaos. They're not, I don't know, they're not formally blessed in some way in the ambas ambassadors program gives people that. You know, well, like I know we have some folks who want to submit talks, for instance, on chaos at different conferences, but they also don't want to compete with others or go up against others who have already submitted. So I think maybe if we had something a little more structured, we could be a little bit more deliberate in how we leave opportunities for others to also speak about chaos at conferences. So it's, you know, maybe not just like the same people giving the same talks, but like leaving some space more deliberately for others, if that makes sense. It does. So maybe the, maybe it would be good, Elizabeth, to think about what maybe the like first couple things are that would be made available as part of an ambassador's program. Is it, for example, like an ability to get swag that they could take to a conference or is it a slide deck that they could talk about? The mm -hmm. project, or is it like a process by which they want to submit a talk, but they're unsure if it's okay to do so? Like so, whatever yeah. those first couple are, maybe that's a good place to start. Yeah, I like that. Um, I just wasn't sure like timing wise, because I know we don't have to do everything right now. So uh -huh. I wasn't sure if we wanted to start that now or wait until like, I don't know, second half of 2024 or whatever seems reasonable to talk about now, especially if we just start kind of like with a low trajectory. Yeah, agreed. Okay. I also think too, that it gives not, not just one more thing, sorry. It oh, not sorry. only gives people permission, but it kind of gives them um, a, an official identity within chaos. So like they're an official chaos ambassador. It just kind of comes with a little bit more, um, I don't know, like, I don't even know how to put it into words, but just like a, a little bit more of an official capacity in the chaos project, I yep. think. So it looks like there is, it, it looks like there's a whole application with CNCF to become an ambassador. Is that right, Don? Yeah, the CNCF program is um, really well structured, um, okay. but it's really heavy partly because everyone wants to be a CNCF ambassador. The benefits are are pretty cool. Like they gave people cakes one year. Um, and, cakes. Uh, and being well. able to call yourself a CNCF ambassador because they have this high bar mm -hmm. is everybody wants it. Uh, so they have, they've had to put more process and criteria around it. I don't think we need anything that formal. Okay. Like the Open UK process is way lighter. It's just basically you say, I want to be an ambassador. And that, unless, okay. unless there's you know, some reason not to. I think most people just get approved. Is that not one, really a... Is that one online too? Yeah, it is. Should be. It is. I can't it. find it. Okay. Yep. Awesome, Don. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect. Thanks, Matt. We should also talk to other people. I wonder, does Fedora have one? I wonder if like people like Justin Flory, I wonder if he has experience setting one of these up. It might be good to chat with a couple of other people who've done this before. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, let's chat. Cool, thanks. Okay, I wanted to leave space for, I don't know if Stella, is she on the call today? I don't see her. Um, I mean, it, she just gave us updates last week, so there may not yeah. be any, which is totally fine. Likewise, Ruth, um, I left space for it if you wanted to update anything, but it, again, you just gave us an update, so if there's nothing else to report, that's totally fine. Yeah, just I think I said this last week. We're participating in PyCon Namibia, so maybe that's. And when you say participating, what, what does that entail? Yeah, so we'll be doing um kind of like um a a session on like kind of like the BOF sessions similar to that in the conference, getting people together to talk about open source community health and how they, you know, 
think about community health in their respective communities and informal chats and share swags and cupcakes to, to be an informal session. I love it. We should have cupcakes every at everything. I love that. Right. Cupcakes makes it all better. It does. Yes. Lure them in. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. Anything else you want to share with us? And that's all for now. Okay, fair enough. Um, the next one is Georg. Do you want to talk about this? I'm assuming you put that on here. The thing that has my name in front of it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be you. I mean, somebody else could have put your name on it. I don't want to assume that it was you. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, it's, it's good to check. It's correct. Uh, so in... January, the Chaos Board met and appointed a new Chaos Code of Conduct team, which consists of Mary Blessing and Anita Yeoman and myself. We had our kickoff meeting and the board also approved sending us to the Code of Conduct Enforcement Training by Sage Sharp, which is the leading training in the open source space on code of conduct and what to do when reports come in. The uh, Elizabeth and Ruth will also be participating in this as community managers for chaos. The training is tomorrow. Not all of us can be there, but the majority of us will be participating in the training tomorrow. And then the plan going forward is to review our code of conduct, maybe update this. Elizabeth is, uh, made us aware that also the contributor covenant, which is the foundation and the basis for our own code of conduct, is being updated to version 3.0, which we'll learn more about on Monday at an uh, event that Caroline is putting on, the author of the code of uh, the contributor covenant. And so another plan we have is to establish a new reporting and response procedure because the old one doesn't work. And our hope, this is not explicitly a goal for this year, but a hope is that the code of conduct enforcement team can become a center of excellence within the chaos community for all things DI and we can partner with working groups and other areas um, to maybe re periodically reflect on DI practices and help answer questions. And that's my update. Questions or comments for Georg? Anybody? Thank you, Georg. Thanks, Georg. Well, I, I have one question and you mentioned that the, the response procedure wasn't working. So can you give more? The, okay. When context I say, about that, uh, if it's past, if not, yes. I don't have the context, so I just wondering. Yeah. We have a mailing list with the Linux Foundation and it's flooded with spam. That's the issue. I okay. don't think we received a single report, so it hasn't really been tested whether it works. We don't have an incidence that we responded to in the seven years that chaos has been around, which I'm very grateful for that we have an awesome community. <laughs> That's totally by accident. <laughs> and uh, But the mailing list is flooded with spam and we want to change that. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments for Georg? And his sparkly house where he resides. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and move on. The next one is, says Matt G, I really need to write up the ChaosCon blog post. Yeah, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you need help with that, Matt? Like, I, I think I haven't even started it. So, I mean, in the last one, I think you and I did it together. So, yeah. yes, that's fine. But I just haven't even started it. I have all the nodes. I just haven't. There are some amazing notes. Angie started those docs. Uh, and yeah, so we've got, at least we've got good notes. For you. Yeah, I got them all. They're just, they're staring right back at me. <laughs> Computer. <laughs> well, maybe I can start a doc and that'll be easier than just like looking at a blank page. All right. Well, okay. I'll, I'll connect with you outside of this meeting. Okay. No worries. <laughs> all right. The next one is Santi. Do you want to talk about Grimoire Lab release? Yeah, this is just a quick note about that. We publish a new version of Grimoire Lab. So today so it's available there for whoever wants to use it. And it includes a long, long awaited uh, feature, which was, uh, or which is uh, to have many, uh, several aliases for organizations. So organizations can have different names. So it was something that it was requested long ago. So well, now, finally, we have it. Is there a blog post or something Sorry. about this one which highlights, uh, you know, kind of an overview? Because I'm, what I'm thinking is maybe we could post from like the Chaos LinkedIn and Mastodon accounts about it. Uh -huh. Well, there's we have the releases note, and I usually post now, when there's a release, I, I use this discussion board in our project, so I write an out there. So I don't know. Okay. We can do that, or you, we can use that link. Or I don't think we've really promoted the recent Augur one either. So maybe we can do a, a blog post about both of them at the same time. I don't know. I don't want to volunteer anybody, but if somebody wants to. Mm -hmm. Or a few somebodies want to. <laughs> that would be something we could we could do. We could post. Yeah, they I can, can write out release notes for Augur. Well, my point is the release notes don't make a great promotion um, because they're no. I don't mean release. I, I meant release notes from a public facing perspective, not an enumeration of commits. Yeah, because you've already done that. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, our release our I'm release notes are are more. Or not for developers, but are for general public somehow. Yes, yeah. uh, I'm just thinking always... a blog post, a blog post with a paragraph that says, you know, hey, we made a new release. These are the three things that you might be interested in in knowing about it. Generally, reads better than. Yeah. Yeah, and like Matt said in the chat, just a paragraph for software it doesn't have to be long. And then you can link to the release notes, but I feel like it's better to promote it in something a little more general. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would keep, mm -hmm. I would just create separate posts for each piece of software so it's not confusing. Yeah, I prefer okay. that. Do we want to do, I want to take action items to do that or? I'll take an action item to send, a, create a Google Doc for the Augur one. And then I'll, I'll share it with uh, y'all. I can do the same with Grimoire Lab, so. Mm, well, yeah, if you send it to me, I can post it to the website. So. so that's it from my side. Awesome. Thanks, Santi. Okay, the next one says, do we have any, or I should say, does anybody have any questions? Sorry, for Santi or comments, anything else besides? Okay. Okay. Um, so the next one says, do we have any lingering DEI event or projects that are in the badging process? That was I me. I was just wondering, just making sure we're all like caught up with everything that has been applied for. Yeah. So I can say we have one open uh, event, which I just assigned yesterday. So okay. that'll be momentarily as for KubeCon. Uh, and then the projects in the badging process, I, I only know about the one that I need to send the badge to, which I can do now. So okay. um, I don't know about the others, if there's any others. I don't Maybe. think there are, but. Okay. So I think that's it. I think we're, we're pretty well caught up. Okay. Sounds good. And how are you feeling just in terms of like support for the reviews, particularly on the events? Are you still okay there? 
Oh yeah. Yeah. We okay. still have a, a pretty large group of badgers. Yeah. Okay. In fact, Sounds I feel good. kind of bad because some folks haven't had an, uh, <laughs> haven't had an event in a while, like a, several months. So um, yeah, we, we have plenty. We're good. Okay. Should we, would it be, it, is, uh, would you want to promote it again? The event badging or do you think we're still okay? Um, that's a good question. You mean just for the event organizers? No, just like on LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to the event organizers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thing. Yeah, just out there like, hey, don't forget, you know, we're happy to yeah, help you we can, go to CEI. We can do that. I was also thinking since the event badging website is being redone, yeah. that once that application process is super smooth and the, the new site is out, that well, might be an wait. Yeah, actually, that's that. a good idea. Yeah, let's just wait until that's all smoothed out. That'll be a really good thing to promote and push. So okay, good. Oh, good idea. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so the next one on here, do we have co-pilot codes for chaos? Do you remember when we had somebody from co-pilot like a year ago come and give a demo? Does yeah, they have... gave a bunch of people on the project access to co-pilot. And I think it was basically anybody who asked for it at the time. Okay. So we don't, I have... thought they'd given it to the whole org, but your and I's brief exploration, yeah. Matt, suggests that's not the case. Yeah. I don't remember this at all, so but my memory is not great. So it wasn't in the main meeting. I think it might have been in the OSPO meeting as it was constructed a year ago. Do you want me to reach out to Arvin? I can. I just saw him at State of OpenCon. So does he? Is he involved in Copilot? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He's um, yeah one of the Copilot guys. So yeah. Oh. Um. Unless we have another contact there. Yeah, maybe I'll I'll connect with you offline because I know we're running a little bit out of time, and I'll give you some context on it. Okay, yeah. sounds good. I can give you the context of what I set up with Chaos Africa too. Okay, sounds okay. good. I was just wondering if we had them, and if we don't, like how we might move forward. But I don't think I knew Arfan was part of that group. Okay. Mm, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I know he works on Copilot. I'm not sure he would he would be able to point us to who okay. could give those. My okay. guess is the person who gave them to us may be around still. Okay. Okay. That's it. Thanks. All right. Um, next one is Dawn. Do you want to go ahead about talk about chaos cast? Yeah, just a quick reminder that if you're doing anything cool with chaos metric software within the community and are interested in talking about it on the podcast, we have an ideas list at the document right there. So if you're interested in doing a podcast about something, feel free to drop an idea in the list and we can we can talk about it. That's it. I'd like to say that I think the podcasts have been really nice over the course of the last, whatever, nine months or, you know what I mean? Like just with kind of organizing them and then having Paul do the editing and the show notes, it's, I think it's worked out really nicely. So good job. Yeah, I've been really happy with it. And we've gotten some interesting guests and interesting topics, so. Yeah, thank you, Don. Yeah. I'm also enjoying the cross collaboration with other podcasts as well. That's something new for us. And I, I really like that a lot because it brings even more folks to chaos that may not have heard of us before. So thanks, Don, for kind of pushing that forward too. I'd like to say that was my idea, but it was really Skulk from Mechanical Inc. who reached out to me. Um, but that's been that's been a great idea. I really, I really enjoyed it. Well, I appreciate you saying yes to his idea. So there you go. <laughs> you get yeah, a little bit of that. That next collaboration that should go live tomorrow where we talk about uh, the software. And so it'll, it'll go out on the mechanical link um, feed and in the chaos cast feed. Awesome. Don't forget, we're, you're still sharing your screen, Sean. So don't do anything. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Right. <laughs> don't Never do mind. anything. I did forget. I did Goodbye, forget to share my screen. Yeah. Just <laughs> a friendly reminder. Okay. Multitasking, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> you you hung in there so long too. You did like I yeah. I was like yeah. <laughs> As we all know, passwords. No, we don't. Um, okay. Yes, cast is awesome. <laughs> it's usually when you show your calendar by mistake that I'm always like, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> He's so busy. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Um, okay, so the last one on here is ChaosCon so updates for Seattle. Now. Do we know who yeah. put the I just I did. I mean, if we wanted to talk about ChaosCon, because I know we've been using this time. 
to kind of end this meeting and then talk about any things we need to do for ChaosCon. That's it. Okay. So should I first so, of all stop recording? Yeah. So typically just stop recording and stop sharing. Yeah. So for those who